Certifying badasses one podcast at a time. Teaching you to love Monday. Check your baggage at licensedtobebadass.com and hop on the bus to Badassville. Turn up your energy with Mustang Monday. Here once again in the driver's seat is Kelly Orchard. Hey everybody, Kelly Orchard here in Mustang Monday. I'm the badass certifier. Sitting here with probably a more certified badass than me, (laughs) Nicole Albrecht from Elite Tax Partners. That's correct. Right. So you just started your new firm. Yeah. For 21 years, I was with my partner and that was a beautiful, amazing mentorship and partnership. And we just have different visions. And so over the last year, we talked about what it looks like separating. And so we've been open officially uh, four months. Well, okay. So all right, so Nicole had made a comment on my last Mustang Monday video, which prompted me to invite her to the car because, well, you're my tax person now, so you know, we'll just release, release that or, you know, disclose that. <laughs> but it was like, I was like, I want to get you in the Mustang to do a Mustang Monday video because there's so much more about you than meets the eye. And she's like, well, you better do it now because come February, I go dark. Yeah, <laughs> February through April 15th or April 18th this year, mm-hmm. God willing that it doesn't get extended. Um, uh, basically, I just uh, grind it out in our in our beautiful office, mm-hmm. and um, and then I'm social again after that. Yeah. All right. So I saw that you your the organization that you support and represent mm-hmm. Rancho Donna Cetus, Yeah. Um, won a scholarship or a significant amount of what a grant yeah. recently, and so. I just wanted to just let's get to know Nicole a little bit. Okay. You know, it's like I know you have a very interesting background because I think you were what, like a cage fighter? Uh, yep, I was an MMA fighter for a while. That is so badass, yeah. I gotta tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you could kick my ass. Uh, I would never. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. But, all right, so tell me about that. What led you to do that? Yeah, so um, I was a single mom at age 16 and um, it was a really rough transition. My son had behavior problems. Um, because I wasn't there a lot and he didn't have a father in his life. My parents did the best they could helping me out and actually helping me out greatly and so did a lot of friends and community. Um, But it was a really rough go. And um, through that is I needed money. That's how I got into MMA fighting. I was really athletic and uh, someone said, hey, you want to jump in a a cage and make $3,000 if you win? I said, yeah, shit, that could pay for my rent um, (laughs) for for a few months. So uh, that's how I got into it. And then I was naturally good at it. And um, it's scary as hell, but um, super fun. And that was right at the the ground level where there wasn't... uh, MMA was still the sport that they looked at kind of barbaric and it wasn't like the big UFC as it is now and so uh, there wasn't a lot of women so I was fighting women and you know that weighed 130 pounds I fought at 165 pounds all the way up to like 250 pounds so because yeah so there was no real like weight class at that point because it was so limited yeah so Um, you had asked me why Rancho Domicitas. Yeah. And so once I started um, gaining some traction under my feet and mm-hmm. there was paycheck left at the end of the month and not month left at the end of the paycheck, I began to um, start seeing how um, how we really do have a setback as single moms, but that doesn't mean we can't get ahead and gain traction. And so uh, I think Julie No had asked me to share my story. Julie No, because we're really good friends, knew my story. But not a lot of the community knew about single mom, MMA fighter, all of that. I, I, I hid that for a little bit. I hid that for quite a while, actually, about 18 years. She wow. asked me to share my story, yeah. and I did. And then they asked me to be on the board of Rancho Domicitas. And it's just such a beautiful, like, God has come full circle, right? Here I was, I needed help. Here's this amazing program that can help other single moms. And the program's hard. You have to be wanting to be better. Mm -hmm. You have to want better for you and your child. So, um, and I love that, that they're really held uh, accountable. And not just um, a handout. It's definitely a hand hand up. up. Yep. Yeah. So, um, so that's just my passion, my jam. A hundred women who care Mm -hmm. had a amazing opportunity for us to share a story and to get up and, uh, win $10,000. Uh, possibly that could turn into about $18,000 for uh, additional grants. And we're going to build, we're going to redo our playground because we know as even moms, not just single moms, that's our haven, right? <laughs> we can go mm-hmm. to somewhere safe, right. let the kids run around and play, while we the, read a book right. or get some fresh air. Yeah. And uh, so I'm really excited about that. You know, so I, 
I don't, I don't share this often much either, but I was a single mom. Oh, okay. So, but not a, not a young mom like you and, and I'd already had a career established. So my, my family had already had the radio station mm -hmm. and three kids later, then I got a divorce. So by the time, before I was 30, I was divorced with the three small kids. Wow. Fortunately though, I had a different financial circumstance that I, I wasn't struggling financially. We, we had the family business, but then things happened and then we don't. Right. And then I was spiraling and I can understand how you really need that hand up, not the, not the hand out. Right. You need somebody to give you that confidence and that boost. Yeah. So when you say that, so where do these, how, where do these women come from? How do they find Rancho Domicitas? Um, so there's a couple of different ways. We're in touch with product, Project Touch, which is the homeless outreach program mm -hmm. here. And so if she sees um, a single mom that's a good fit for the program, she refers them in. Um, but it's really word of mouth. We're, we're right now rehabbing. Um, Lennar has come in and sponsored um, really doing some pretty big improvements to all the homes right now. And so as soon as we're done with that big project, um, we're going to really do a better job of opening it up and getting the word out. Um, we do do Craigslist ads and things like that and social media posts. And so really the moms, when I sit with them and just talk with them and ask them how they found out, uh, sometimes it's through other moms that are living there that are sharing um, Project Touch. And uh, a couple of them came through from Craigslist. So, mm -hmm. And so it's it's the moms and their kids and you provide housing support, job training, mm -hmm. Please yeah. tell me more. I don't want to guess. Yeah. I don't so, want to be guessing here. So, yeah. uh, so the moms come in and they have about six weeks to kind of get their bearings. And so a lot of them come in, um, you know, with a lot of baggage. Um, as a single mom, we, we no matter we what, yeah. carry a lot of baggage. Mm -hmm. And so they come in and we get uh, we give them job training. We help them with resumes. There's a couple of really great organizations that do reach out and help um, hire the moms on. And then we help them get a car. And so my piece of it is, is I get to come in. I'm a huge Dave Ramsey uh, fan, like probably the biggest Dave Ramsey fan ever. I get to come in and teach them a version of financial peace. Mm -hmm. And so really get down into the weeds with them and teach them how to budget. And um, they are required to pay rent. It's a small amount, but we need to get them started on the right path, right? Because mm -hmm. we're always going to have rent, utilities, and things like that. Um, they get uh, parenting classes, cooking classes, healthy living classes, um, and the therapy and the support that they need wrapped around them. What's also great is a uh, single mom is a very lonely journey, yeah. and um, they cohabit. Uh, there's two to three families because these homes are pretty large, and there's five homes on the property. And so they learn how to get along, and that's challenging uh, sometimes. And then they also, uh, that's their support system, because a lot of them don't have family. And so, you know, it's really cool when someone's like, oh, yeah, I was able to babysit so that they could attend their AA meeting. And then in return, she babysits so I could pick up an extra ship and get a couple extra bucks, you know, this this paycheck. That and, is so amazing. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. How long has Rancho Domicita been in existence? So it's been in existence for quite a while. Uh, don't quote me on this, but I think okay. 1992. Um, okay. But October of 2017 is when they transitioned from a foster care program to the single mom housing. Okay, so that's okay. So it was a few years ago. I remember it was a foster care program. Correct. So it's only yeah. been the single mom housing for what, like five five years? Yep. Or working on five years? Yep. Okay. And that is so, uh, so you're on the board and you're very heavily involved in that. Yeah. Yeah. So what else do you do? I was like, I know it's like what you talked about. You're, you're only, you, you only get to have fun two months out of the year. <laughs> <laughs> right? I have fun a lot, but yeah, I get to really let my hair down yeah. January and May and this is January. So the hair's down. We're having fun. Well, so I would imagine that your single mom existence really taught you a lot about all of these resources that you're providing at Rancho Domicitas yeah. and helping out with them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so you actually have hands-on. You're not just donating money. You're actually there yes. giving giving advice and supporting them, Yep. which is something I always recommend anybody to do. It's, it's when you give your heart. When you give your time, yeah, those are some. Those are the greatest gifts. Yeah, because we can all write checks, and mm -hmm. a lot of us uh, now. I'm in a fortunate position that I'm able to do that as well. Um, but the time is so much more meaningful. This is where I'm having the biggest impact. 
um, cause these moms and, and I was in a similar situation. Someone can come in and talk to you and you just think that they have everything together and their life has been so easy. But as I start to share my stories as well, <laughs> we, <laughs> well, we got a visitor. Well, hey. let's, do, let's do this. What, no, let's do it. So come over hey, here. Hey Rob, we're doing an interview. Come on in here. It's not live. It's recorded, but it'll be fun. We're just having a chat, you know. Our financial advisor, Rob. Oh, hey, I'm Kelly Orchard. Nice to meet you. We, yeah. we met, like, yeah. very briefly. We're doing a Mustang Monday yeah. interview. You like it? I like it. Huh? <laughs> the market is going crazy. I know. I should rebalance. Talking business yeah. Monday morning. Yeah. yeah, I know. All right. Well, All right. <laughs> Bye, Rob. Rob is your... Um, Financial investor, dude, or certified financial analyst, certified? which is wow. like the highest designation degrees that you can have. That's a smart cookie. That's a smart cookie. We didn't get him on video, but <laughs> maybe I'll snap a picture of him or something. <laughs> like, we'll just add that in there, or I'll edit it out. That yeah. was a funny bit. We haven't had that happen before, where someone has actually like approached the car <laughs> like, when we're doing this. Like, what are you doing in there? Yeah. We're just chatting, <laughs> just having a coffee. Yeah. Oh my god, that was funny. Yeah. I wish I would could get him in the car. That would have been funny. <laughs> He's like six five. So yeah, that, that wasn't possible. Fit. Yeah, he barely. Yeah, he barely. But that was a pretty. I was wondering, like, what is this dude doing? You're totally yeah. distracted me. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about Rancho Domicitas yes, we and the moms. Oh, come back. Yes, and the moms. Um, and so I think that um, my unique. Yeah, it's you know I know that I'm helpful on the board because I'm the treasurer, so I'm always looking over the financials and everything like that. But. What I love doing is to mentor with the moms and it's to have someone that's walked in their shoes and to see that it is possible and to provide that that shining light of hope, I think is very incredible because um, and, and I feel so blessed that I'm able to do that because it's it's hard. That's a hard walk being mm -hmm. a single mom um, and being, you know, most of the moms are homeless when they come into our, our um, nonprofit. And so. It's just a really cool position. I just think that yeah. God has me in the right spot. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, definitely has you in the right spot. You know, it's like, you know, my experience as a single mom, you know, three kids and, you know, you, it's, you can, I, I remember how, the hardness of it and how hard it is. And, some, and now I look at my daughters who have husbands that are in the picture. And then when they start sh sharing how difficult life is, um, I have to hold my breath. Yeah. I'm sure that's difficult because you're... You, your job is to give professional or to give advice on life situations, mm -hmm. but if it's not asked for by your child, oh, that yeah, just to listen. Yeah, well, mine mine is more like you are lucky. You're so fortunate that their father is in the picture and that you have you know. Say, so, I think that appreciate the good that you have. Yeah, you know, and but but be willing. I I like that anybody who comes to a rancho domicile just has to want mm -hmm. to improve their lives. They're not looking at staying a victim right they've been victimized we're not diminishing that right mm -hmm. but they don't want they cho they're choosing not to be a victim right and to pick themselves up and accept help sometimes that's the hardest part too is to ask for and then accept the assistance that is the hardest part you know i i remind my son of you know one time it was very difficult it was around christmas time and i believe it was rotary but i'm not entirely sure who it was but we opened up our low income apartment door and i had 20 dollars for christmas gifts that year um and i know it's not about the toys and things like that but i'd opened up the door and there was two huge trash bags of t filled to the brim of toys and a brand new bike out front mm -hmm. it was so amazing so the 20 dollars i got to buy wrapping paper i yeah. ran out actually because there's so many so toys, many toys I, presents. I wrapped them in newspaper yeah. and it was just it was such an amazing christmas an amazing feeling but it was really humbling and you know uh, my team and i we for christmas we join with rotary and do the toy drive and sometimes they're like well that was kind of abrupt and i'm like you got to understand how hard it is to accept blessings right. it's so easy to give blessings and when you're on that side it feels amazing and it's great but it's very humbling and hard to receive blessings mm -hmm. although that's how god has positioned us he mm -hmm. wants us to receive and give so it's right. kind of interesting with that but it is hard yeah i it is really hard and you know it's like when i first started out as a therapist you know say like my my story is obviously different i was a single mom so when i you know and i was doing all right we had a cons my dad and i had a consulting business now my kids are teenagers and i owned my house and i got sick and that's when my financial doom began. And so now, so then in grad school, so I lived 
poor as a church mouse for quite a few years trying to build up to becoming licensed to become a therapist and my message is, is that no matter what happens you can rebuild your life you can find a dream yep. and pursue it and get there but and but it also takes help of other people and accepting it because that's one one of my biggest weaknesses yeah. is that I don't always ask for help but I'm always willing to give it, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And so it, you're right though. It is about accepting and receiving. Mm -hmm. And that is so strange because that's kind of like my word this year. I do a word of the year. Okay. And my word this year is receive. Okay. Because I have too. also had friends remind me, it's like, you know, you give and give and give, you've got to let yourself receive. And I don't know, would that be your message for some, some badasses out there? I think so. Yeah. yeah. I love that. I do too. Yeah. I, I really do, Nicole. <laughs> that was a really good message. So, so a badass tip. So kind of expound on that if you don't mind. I don't want to put you on the spot, but it's the being, the humble yourself yeah. to ask for help when you need it and be willing to receive it. Yeah. I think it, it reminds me of a financial peace class that I took and there was a single mom going through that class um, and she was a uh, military and she had some money and she was learning how to, she was paying off a lot of debt that she had gone through a divorce as well. And, um, and she still gave, she tithed, she gave a lot. And it was really interesting because she went out to lunch with someone who was really wealthy and that wealthy person had a message from God to pay off her, that woman's debt. And so um, she said, you know, during lunch, how much debt do you have left? And I forget the number. I think it was around $8,000. And the next week she opened it up, opened up a letter and it was an $8,000 check to pay off her debt. She had the hardest time receiving that. She wanted to give that $8,000. I just can't accept this, right? We had yeah. to remind her like, hold on. You have been praying. You have been diligent. You have been a good steward with your money now for four years. This is God's blessing. Allow this woman to be the vessel through God to get this blessing mm -hmm. so that you could finish this journey. This chapter is done. Move on to the next chapter. Yeah. And so receiving, although it would have been hard for me as well, yeah, it me too. Is, yeah. is, um, is, is beautiful when you just allow it to happen and you're, you're appreciative yeah. when it happens. I do re recall somebody saying that, you, Kelly, you are denying me the blessing of helping you. Yeah. It will make me feel better exactly. if you just let me do this. And I, I, it was a God thing too. I, was, I had to stop and it was, okay, you're right. You know, because I'm usually the one that's the giving Yeah. and, and we do have to, you know, be willing to receive. And that is my, that is my word of the year. I can't believe you brought that up. You know, awesome. <laughs> it is awesome. That works. All right, everybody. So Nicole Albrecht, elite tax partners and, you know, on the board of Rancho Domicitis, which is very near and dear to your heart. It is. Yeah. So, and your, and your badass tip is be receiving, willing, be willing to receive. Yep. All right. So I'm Kelly Orchard, the badass certifier. Now this is very casual. That's my tagline. Just say it with me, will you? I will. We are reminding you to be, be bold, bold, be, be brave, brave, be, be confident, confident, and be, be badass. badass. If you enjoy these interviews, you can watch videos of Mustang Monday on Kelly's YouTube channel, too. Grab your Badass Habits ebook. Get started on your badass journey. Go to licensedtobebadass.com.